Hello and welcome to the How To series presented by Fresh Service, your guide to best practices for ITSM and ITOM. I am Naganandini and I am here to share with you how to simplify alert management using your IT service desk. In the past several years, if you look at the nature of IT infrastructure, it has changed drastically and it has changed in a complex manner to help organizations scale and deliver faster. On one hand, the rate of change is too often and unprecedented. And on the other hand, there is a pressure to deliver things faster. On top of it, when you throw a pandemic, the dependency on digital services and the whole pressure to keep these services up and running has skyrocketed. In this scenario, the consequence of an outage or a downtime can be really grave for, customer, for companies of all sizes. The cost of a downtime is not only in terms of a revenue impact, it is also in terms of the credibility of the organization. People are less tolerant to disruptions and they may not even want to trust the brand again. So let's zoom out a bit and see what actually creates the pressure while troubleshooting and firefighting the issues. I'd like you to meet Anna. Anna is the IT ops manager at Acme's, which is a departmental store chain. They have gone all digital in the past year and she is in charge of managing a complex hybrid infrastructure with 4,000 plus cloud resources, 100 plus services, etc. They use modern monitoring tools like Cashpoint for website monitoring, Dynatrace, CloudWatch, and New Relic for application monitoring, Sumologic for log management, etc. Her team is geographically distributed and they are now working remotely. There's a heavy pressure on the team to ensure that the services are closely monitored and they don't face any disruptions. Sadly, they're still relying on outdated and disparate tools to manage their activities. Anna doesn't really look too happy in this picture because she's in the middle of firefighting during Black Friday sale outage. The payment page is taking too long to load and customers are already complaining about that on social media. Neither the tools that she is using nor the process in her team is actually helping her. So let's take a look at all the problems that her team is facing because of the lack of a proper tool in place. The first problem is alert noise. The biggest pain point that an ops agent faces on a daily basis while monitoring is having to go through hundreds and hundreds of notifications coming from different monitoring tools and that too in a disjointed manner. They get notified on multiple channels, they have to switch portals, and this only gets worse during a service disruption because they get flooded with notifications from all the interconnected devices. It takes a long time to get to the underlying issue and there are also chances for critical alerts to, to slip through the cracks. The information is scattered across different monitoring tools and it becomes difficult to connect the dots if there's an interdependent service disruption. Also, during a service disruption, the last thing that anybody would want is trying to reach one person after another on multiple channels, especially if it's happening in the middle of the night. After several handoffs, when the incident finally reaches the right agent, it may not even contain the latest information about what is happening. By then, the issue could have been resolved. It could have been a false alarm. We don't really know. And on top of it, every minute during this disruption is a costly affair for her company's reputation and revenue. So now let's get to the exciting part of her how-to session where I will show you how the situation can be handled in a better way in five simple steps. The first step involves creating an alert profile to consolidate alerts that impact the services that you monitor. I'm now logged into my Fresh Service agent portal where I see a new section for IT operations management. In this case, Anna can start with creating alert profiles to monitor her services, such as a payment gateway, a shopping cart, email services, etc. This way, if an incident gets created for a particular service, she'll be able to quickly identify it from the details. 
Now let's move on to step two. This involves integrating with the tools that are used for monitoring the service. When you click on add integration, you can either select from the list of tools that are listed here, or you can integrate with any tool of your choice by using the custom integration. I'm gonna go ahead and integrate with New Relic and track and manage the alerts from this tool within Fresh Service. As you can see, since the integration with New Relic is available as a pre-configured setup, it is only a few clicks away from integrating with this tool. In the last page of the setup, Fresh Service provides you with a web book, which needs to be configured with a new relic. And there's also a how-to article to understand where the web book needs to be configured in the monitoring tool. Now that this is configured, let's move on to step three. Anna can integrate all the monitoring tools to Fresh Service and triage all the issues in one place. Anna can view them by clicking on the alert icon in the left pane. In Fresh Service, multiple alerts generated for the same issue will be aggregated based on the unique combination of its alert properties which is the resource and the metric name. As you can see, there are two automated actions that Fresh Service does with these alerts. One, reducing the alert noise by grouping the alerts coming from the same resource and metric into a single alert. Two, auto-resolving the alerts based on the alert severity so that agents do not have to take time to manually close every issue that was already resolved. Receiving an alert with okay severity denotes that the monitored metric has reached its optimal threshold. This way, Fresh Service helps reduce the number of alerts that have to be processed. Now that resolves two more pain points for her. Moving on to step four, let's look at how to ensure that she never misses a critical alert. What Anna can actually do is create rules to decide which alerts are worth acting upon and how they should be actioned upon. Based on the alert properties such as severity, the frequency of its occurrence, alert tags, etc., she can configure rules to create an incident and immediately notify her team about the same. She can automatically tag these incidents as P1, P2, and set SLAs accordingly. By using the private nodes, she can add some useful SOP links to help her agents resolve the issue. She can automatically assign the tickets to the concerned agent group on incident creation itself. Now moving on to the last step, once the alert properties are matched and the incidents get created, they can be automatically associated to the alerts. Here, you can also see the associated alert that triggered the incident. Clicking on the alert which triggered the incident will display the complete history of how the issue has progressed so now that eliminates Anna's problem to add more information when she's actually escalating this piece of record. Now with all these capabilities built in, Anna doesn't really have to look too stressed during an outage. This pretty much sums up how Fresh Service can solve the pain points and simplify the process of managing the alerts in five simple steps. On that note, we would like to thank you for joining us today. The health of your IT infrastructure and the efficiency of your IT service desk are but two sides of a coin. Why incur an additional cost by investing in two separate tools and then you know expend 
extra effort integrating them. The IT operations module is available for free for fresh service customers on pro and enterprise plans. You can get started with the trial using the link here and explore many more interesting capabilities. Thank you.